I'm Arnold de Lissandro. He's a 13-year-old gelding, an Oldenburger, and he did a great job the last days and yeah, the, the whole season. I'm very happy to have him. It was a great experience because the weather was very warm and now in Austria it's very cold and so I know what to do when it gets warm in Austria and yeah. And it's a good practice for the horses to stay three months at the same place and see nearly every week the same rain and it's great here. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to ride many different kinds of horses uh, with different, that give you different feelings. Uh, so thank you for that, of course, to Yoel Dimas, my sponsor. Um, yeah, I think that our goal this week was to reach, um, of course, you know, high scores are always the goal, but also new feelings, a little bit more softer aids, lightness in the contact, and uh, yeah, just to enjoy the championship. That's what it's all about. We're all young and we're supposed to have fun, and uh, I think that's our priority here. So, of course, his name is Dan Imas. He's uh, nine years old. Uh, I won with him the European Championships uh, this summer in the juniors in uh, Villeban, France. And uh, yeah, he's a superstar. Really a superstar, super talent. Uh, he's very ambitious. We had some mistakes here and there, of course, throughout the uh, weekend due to our ambition, mutual. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's a superstar and he tries very hard each day for me. And uh, little by little, we're making our step to the higher levels. Yeah, so it's Fabulous. I wrote him a little bit more than over a year now, I think. And um, he can be very special, but because of that, it's a great experience here for him in this big international ring. And he learns from show to show, and so do I. So every show is a new beginning for us, and <laughs> we have to work together, and he always gives his best. And I try to give my best too. <laughs> So, yeah, I was here last year too, and that was our first international show last year, and now it's my second year, and I hope to come back next year. I rode Bojan, he's a 17-year-old Dutch sport pony gelding. Um, he was uh, graciously donated to Dressage for Kids by B.B. Davis, so he's very experienced in the FEI ponies. Uh, I started competing him last summer, so he has taught me a lot and this was our first CDI together. Um, it was really a fun experience getting to know riders from all over the world and competing you know, in such a big facility was just a whole, whole new level for me. And that was just a very good experience. And I'm very thankful to everyone that has given, that, given me this opportunity, Dressage for Kids who owns Bobo, um, BB, and my parents and friends for all their support. I am 16 from Queenstown, Maryland. I am 15 from Paden, I'm to book Wald in Germany. Oh man, I feel old now. I used to be the one that said be 15, 16. I'm 18. I'm from uh, Spain, Madrid. Madrid, Spain. I'm 20. I'm from Salzburg, Austria. Uh, I'm Pablo. I'm from Valencia. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm riding in Tarpan Imas. Uh, Iwa de Imas is the owner. And they gave me a really good opportunity to ride the U25. Uh, was we have mistake today, but we are happy. The first day was good too, so yeah, we are really happy with that. Uh, no, it's the second CDI I, I did with him, so yeah, we are we are beginners in that. I mean, I think it's just work every day, you know, at home and, and the shows and keep keep showing, keep going, keep learning. Yeah. Um, I want to improve myself in the U25 and go to the European Championships for Austria. Okay, well, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I think, of course, like Pao said, there has to be a lot of hard work at home, a lot of um, preparation, and uh, but I think we can't lose you know, the, the fun in the ring. We have to, of course, enjoy ourselves and enjoy the bond we have with the horses and the work that uh, we've done at home, be able to show it off in, in the ring. That's what it's all about. So yeah, I think we have to enjoy the journey. That's what it's all about. I think we have to keep on running too. And when I go back to Germany now, I will have many competitions and also the German championship and stuff like that. And 
it will help me to get into the European Championships, but I'll try for sure and have many other shows before that to learn and practice. Um, this show is the last score I needed to qualify for the Pony Rider National Championships this year, and that was has been my goal ever since I started dressage, even though I never did ponies until last year, and I was given the opportunity to ride Bobo. So I'm going to continue to train hard and at home. I go home and do a few more shows, and then have fun and learn lots along the journey. I yeah. don't know what's the difference between between the Americans and the Europeans, maybe it's because of different training, something like that. But I think the Americans do great here, and it's fun to to show with them together. And yeah, it's it's really hard because the Germans are very good actually. And um, I'm now in the German team, but not actually for the European Championship so far. They will decide, I think, in Hagen at um, future champions and yeah i have to practice for that now well in my situation i've been uh, having the support of yoa dimas javier and cristina Bacariza, um for the past four years and i've been able to have the opportunity to fly back and forth to europe and uh, <clears throat> not only compete against uh, different international riders but also the atmosphere of the shows vary a lot i think that here is very friendly in europe as well of course but um, yeah, I think that the atmosphere here in Wellington is very friendly. There's uh, unfortunately not so many uh, young riders and juniors as there is in uh, Europe, but it is growing. I think that little by little there's many more combinations out there, and I think that it's uh, it's very exciting to see how for the past couple of years Wellington has grown in the young rider divisions. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the future. We have to do a national show in Austria. And then we have to do um, three international shows in Saumur, Copian and München Riem. And the rest for four go to the European Championships. In Spain we have to show like, first you have to have results on the CDI or something like that. Then you have to show like one or two shows in Spain and then the Federation will decide which one is going on. I'm personally I'm in the university, so I study on distance. I have to go to New York to do the exam twice a year. Yeah, I try to to study. At the moment, I have a year free because I finished school last July, and um, this September I start with university in Germany. I'm a student in uh, Palm Beach International Academy. Um, I'm technically supposed to be in college, but I'm uh, one year behind. Uh, it's a school that gives you a lot of flexibility, and uh, I'm very lucky to be able to compete a lot and travel around the world competing with my horses. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's a school that is a little bit of a double edge blade because uh, I keep postponing my classes and I, you know, miss a lot of school. But uh, yeah, little by little, my, my goal is, of course, to study and have an education. I think it's very important, even though I want to keep being in the sport in the future. Uh, I think that having education uh, says a lot about a person and uh, yeah, I'm going to take it step at a time, no rush. So I'm a student in Germany in my hometown, but I can keep on doing school here and my friends and the teachers just sent me my schoolwork and I visit Wellington First Education Place it's called and yeah, that's very good because I can keep on working on my schoolwork and and I am lucky enough that I am homeschooled so I can continue to compete and travel around the United States and keep up with my schoolwork. It's still really hard, but after you get home from the barn, you're like really tired, but it's worth it. I think it was super cool. I've never been to this big of a show with that many juniors and young riders. I've watched this competition the last two years, and it was great to see how much the classes have improved. Hopefully there'll be more ponies next year. Um, but yes, it was a great opportunity, especially um, so many international competitors, just to see like um, the junior and young rider com um, competitors from Europe and what we have to do to you know, improve in America. It's really a great experience.